All right, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be showing all of you my PC slash console gaming setup. You've seen me do videos like this in the past. I think the last one I did was like three years ago. So this is my most recent setup. Um, so two things before I actually get started. I'm going to do my best to put uh, links in the description to all the items and pieces of equipment I have in my setup. So if anybody is interested in buying something I have, the link will be in the description for your convenience. The other thing is wire and cable management. My wire and cable management isn't terrible right now, but it isn't complete. It's something I'm still working on. So I don't want to see a whole bunch of comments in the comment section talking about my wire management. I'm well aware. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So back here, you know, which is, you know, this green screen, this is the Elgato collapsible green screen, which is what I use uh, to chroma key and to live stream um, this. Listen, the Elgato green screen is overpriced like most Elgato products but it's convenient you can't deny how convenient it is I think it's like over a hundred and fifty dollars close to two hundred but I mean you can't deny how like convenient it is because you can literally uh, break it down and put it back up in seconds um, so it's a good size it's it's not like it's the quality of the green screen surpasses other ones on the market it's just it's convenient so yeah you it's that kind of um, justifies its price. Um, this computer chair is just a Berlman computer chair. It's I used to have a, a gaming computer chair. It was like black and white and everything like that. But I I sold it and just got a regular computer chair. Uh, it's it's Berlman. I'm gonna try to remember the make and the models for everything I have. By the way, and yeah, it's just a basic computer chair. I got rid of the uh, gaming computer chair because I don't know. It just felt like I just, I just I was just wasn't really into it anymore. It felt like elementary. I don't know if I, I felt like I grew out of it. Not to shit on anybody who has one. I think they're they're good. It just it just wasn't really something that fit me anymore, and wasn't something I wanted anymore. I just wanted a basic and uh, a basic computer chair. All right. Um, let's do the desk. So the desk is an Alex Lindman um, IKEA desk. So this desk is so it has five drawers on this side, and then five drawers on that side. Um, the, the desk isn't actually attached to um, the drawers. As you can see, it's not flush up against it. That's something I should have uh, fixed prior to. And uh, this, my wife actually keeps her stuff in this side, so I don't want to open it. She keeps like some of her documents in this side. I don't want to open this side. Um, my stuff is on is on this side. So like in this drawer, I keep a whole bunch of you know, electronics and stuff, you know, for easy access. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's in the rest of those at the moment, so I don't want to open that. Um, yeah, and, and originally I wanted black drawers, um, but, you know, end up getting white because my wife recommended it since we have marble floors, which are pretty hard to take care of and get d dirty re really easily, so we constantly have to clean these marble floors. But, yeah, it kind of helps blend the desk into the floors so yeah this is a it's it's I can't remember the measurements of the desk but it's as you can see it's pretty long and uh, yeah I, I can't imagine someone needing needing a longer desk unless you have like a three monitor setup so once again the links will be in the description if you want to check the dimensions of the desk um, so the my rig we can go to my rig uh, I'm gonna cut the video real quick because I want to put the rig on its side so you can see it um, a little bit better. You can see uh, inside of it a little bit better. All right, so I have the rig on its side uh, so we can get um, a little bit of, of a better view. Um, there is a reflection, so there might be some things that's a little bit hard, harder to see. But uh, yeah, so the case is a Corsair Crystal Series 460X um, mid-tower gaming case. And you know it has tempered glass on the front, tempered glass on the side, which by the way are dust and fingerprint magnets. And you know it's just a it's just a nice basic case. I'm not someone who goes for like extravagant looking cases. You know I care about what's inside more than how the actual outside 
uh, and form factor of the cases. Some people care a lot about that. I honestly don't. I care more, way more about what's inside than what's outside. In this case, you know, it looks looks fine to me. Um, this my CPU is an i7 uh, 8700. The so the fans are uh, so there's six fans. There's three in the front, and they're Ernamax 120 millimeter uh, RGB fans. Two at the top. Uh, one at the back for exhaust. Um, so my storage, so I have uh, store onboard storage. It's a two terabyte, where is it? So right there, it's a two terabyte um, Corsair MP510. And of course that is uh, NVMe uh, M.2 SSD. And I also have a actual SATA SSD. I can't, what? Oh, that's that's yeah. It's a crucial. Uh, I put a. It's just chilling there because I took out the drive bay. I don't really feel drive bays are necessary. It's a two terabyte crucial uh, SSD. Of course, you know the um, the M point two uh, SSDs are you know really fast and it has the NVMe protocol. So I have total two terabytes of um, storage inside, and then I have like an eight. I have like an eight terabyte hard drive, uh, you know, um, external storage that I keep also. Um, the memory is uh, two sticks of 16 gigs, so 32 gigs in total, G skill. The motherboard is an MSI Mag Z, uh, Z390 Tomahawk motherboard. Uh, the power supply, you might not be able to see it because of the, um, because of the reflection. Uh, the power supply is a 750 watt Corsair RM series. Uh, it has a, um, it's a, it's a power supply cover to like contain the sound the power supply might make. But uh, I think there's another name for power supply covers. That might not be the actual name for them. I can't remember the name. But yeah, I was thinking about even taking this cover out because this power supply doesn't really make noise. And I don't really feel like this, this cover helps the aesthetic or helps the airflow, not that I have any airflow problems, um, but yeah, I might take that out. Oh, and of course the cooler, the CPU cooler, I still have air cooling. And I know for some of you that's like blasphemous, some of you swear by water cooling. Listen, and, and see, uh, air cooling still gets the job done. It works, it's, it's, you know, it's sufficient. My rig is not gonna blow up. It, it's gonna be completely fine, okay, trust me. Because I know some of you like, oh my God, get water cooling. Listen, CPU is still sufficient to get the job done. I've checked my temperatures even when gaming. It, it, it keeps the CPU cool, okay? Um, what else have I? Oh, yeah. Um, so I, of course, have an RTX 2080 Ti. That's a black edition. Um, my Aver Media card. Did I mention the Aver Media card? Shout out to Aver Media, man. So this is the Live Gamer 4K. Uh, capture card. It's an amazing capture card and no I'm not just saying that because Aver Media are my sponsors. If you've been watching me for a while you know uh, that I've said that I praise this card from from my day one purchase of it. It's, an, a, it's a great capture card. I've been through a lot of capture cards as many of you know so I know what I'm talking about. It you know it can capture 4k 60 you know up to a, a, a 144 Hertz even at certain resolutions. Uh, you know everything that a modern um, capture card could do so and of course it's internal uh, Let me see anything I forgot to mention with this. I think that's it for the rig Yeah, I think that's it for the rig Yeah I didn't go, of course I did I didn't go crazy with the RGB of course I wanted some lights in there something to light up the rig, but you know, I definitely didn't go crazy. I was thinking of getting RGB RAM, but I was like, oh, let me chill. I'll stick with the fans and, uh, and you know, the Aver Media has that RGB on it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really all that's needed. So um, yeah, that's the rig. Okay, so I mean, while I'm over here, um, this is a Nighthawk uh, Pro Gaming router. Um, that's just the modem, of course. This is the router that I got, and this router has, you know, like uh, a lot of technologies and features that if you're gaming, you kind of want. Like I think it's called QO QOS, where you can pretty much prioritize 
and route where most of your bandwidth goes. So I have most of my bandwidth, of course, going to my PC and my PlayStation because um, those are the most important things that need the most bandwidth, right? So I think this is the X, is this the X300 model, I think? It just came out like uh, the middle of this year. So they have a lot of models of the Nighthawk uh, router. I got like the, the cheapest model, which is, you know, it's it was like $200, which is more than enough for, you know, its features are more than more enough for, for what I need. It also has geo filtering. Most I think most modern routers have geo filtering. That's where you can uh, limit your pool of people you you run into online. Like for example, if I geo filter my router um, to only to the to uh, the United States, then it'll limit the people I run into when I'm playing games online to the United States, and that's to possibly have better connections. Of course, because you know you go overseas, you know that connection can get a little funky. I don't have geo filtering on, but in case I needed it, it's a it's a great um, feature. Um, all right, let's get to what's on the desk. So of course you have the PlayStation 4 that needs no introduction. Um, PlayStation 4 controller. This is a Samsung. Well, so, sorry, Samsung, not Samsung. Uh, let me turn it around because it's not facing the right way. So this is a Samsung portable uh, USB microphone. So let me explain why I have this, right? So this is connected to the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 is pretty much compatible with virtually every USB uh, microphone on the market. And the reason why I have this is because these are my Astro A40s. And most of the time my Astro A40s are connected to my PC because I'm speaking to people on Discord and everything like that. Um, and if it's connected to my PC, it obviously, I can't have a voice chat with people um, in game, randos in game, because I'm talking to people I'm playing with in the Discord. So if I need to say something like, yo, somebody's behind you, you fam, you about to get shot in game, I could just scream it out in here real quick. So that's the like the solution I have for that. Um, so, um, Astro A40s, like I mentioned already, uh, I've been through a lot of headsets in the past, but the Astro A40s are the, so they have an old model and I had the old model for like five plus years. And this is the new model that they came out with just, just re I think like last year. So I, I, you know, picked them up because these headphones have been, these brand of head, headphones have been extremely reliable for me. I know some people don't like uh, quote unquote gaming headsets, uh, but these are these have been great for me. So I've stuck with them, and you know that's the that's the mix amp. Um, the old model mix amp looks very different. So this is the new model mix amp, of course. <clears throat> um, back here, that's the Focus Scarlet um, third third generation, the Focus Scarlet Solo third generation. Um, this is the audio interface for my microphone, which is the Audio-Technica 2035. So yeah, you plug that into that, you plug the microphone into the audio interface because it connects through uh, XLR. And then this plugs into your PC, so it's all about converting um, the data, the vo you know, the, the data of your voice um, through USB and through XLR. So yeah, as I already mentioned, that's my um, Audio Technica 2035. Um, shout out to Aver Media for the merch, little water bottle. You know, I got to keep hydrated. Got the water bottle on the coaster. Um, this camera is the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Um, that's the camera I've been using in most of my recent videos. It's, it has great quality. I don't actually ever use the 4K. I, I feel like it's a little bit much. I keep, you know, I just record at 1080p, and it's a, it's a really good webcam. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I know a lot of people try to use, you know, actual uh, DSLR, uh, digi uh, digi or digital cameras, um, but you know, I stick with uh, I stick with webcam for like live streaming or, or recording. Uh, the only thing about this camera is it needs really good lighting. This camera turns into, I want to say, complete trash if the lighting isn't good. So that's one thing I definitely had to get right with my setup. 
Um, first of all, there's, there's plenty of natural light. We have these huge windows um, all throughout our place. Uh, so we get, you know, real good natural lighting. The sun is, is in the perfect direction behind the camera. So that's great. And then if I needed, you know, maybe it's later in the day, I needed some, uh, some additional lighting. I have, that's a, a newer LED um, light. So I just turn that on. And then also um, right above me in this little section, this is all throughout the uh, my, my place. Um, but yeah, uh, there's one actually above, you know, my setup. And this is a great Eagle bulb. This is a daylight bulb. It's like what, 500K lumens, I believe. So yeah, um, gotta have them daylight bulbs in your place. Oh, okay, so, uh, oh, okay, let me get to some of the stuff that I missed on the desk. I think I'm almost done. Okay, so the mouse is a G502 uh, gaming mouse, Logitech mouse. Uh, I, I swear by Logitech products pretty much for the most part. Um, the mouse pad though is the, is all of this stuff is RGB as you can see. The mouse pad is a Corsair M800. Yeah, Corsair M800 uh, hard mouse pad. Great quality. Um, <clears throat> the keyboard, I can't remember off the top of my head what the keyboard actually is. I think it's the, uh, yeah, I can't even remember to tell you the truth, but it's uh, it's a mechanical, it's a Logitech mechanical keyboard. It's one of their recent ones. It's, it's a great quality. It comes with this, uh, this, this pad, it, you know, it's not actually attached. Um, I'm gonna get to the I'm gonna get to the monitors, but the mount the mount is a Vivo mount. I actually had to drill into the desk uh, to make this mount a little bit more secure. Um, they you know that's an option that they give you when you get the mount. That's an option they give you in the manual. You don't have to, but it's to make it more secure. And for these pretty heavy monitors, uh, yeah, I, I had to drill into the desk, which you know was was fine with me. Uh, the Vivo mount is great. So oh by the way these. These mounts, these these monitors are uneven because I'm waiting on a tool uh, because I have a I have this huge like tool bag with a whole bunch of uh, you know tools in it, but not the right one I needed to um, to pretty much fix this. Essentially, um, there's you need a hexagon key. If I take this cap off, it's like a hexagon uh, hexagon key um, that you need to turn it. But all the hexagon keys I have are uh too big to fit in it and that's what i need to level the monitors so i'm, I'm waiting on that <clears throat> excuse me all right uh is it only the oh the speakers so the speakers are razor what is it is, is it Ray, razor ramos i'm definitely getting it right is is razor is razor something speakers apologies i think it's razor ramo speakers um, but they're they're really good quality speakers when I bought them. I thought they were smaller than they were actually are and I'm But you know, they're a little bigger and uh, they have they're great quality though. I'm I definitely wasn't disappointed um, And of course the other one is behind the rig that'll get put back in place when I move the rig uh, I think the last thing are the monitors, right? So, okay, so this monitor is the Acer X27 a Acer X270 uh, monitor, and this is pretty much my secondary monitor in some cases. Um, this is this is just a 1080p G-Sync uh, gaming monitor. It's G-Sync compatible. It's 1080p, goes up to 144 hertz, and I pretty much use this monitor when I'm playing multiplayer games, for example, because this is the Acer X27, and this has you know G-Sync. Uh, goes up to 144 hertz. It has HDR. Um, it's 4K. But the thing is, when you have all of those technologies in a monitor, especially these like early monitors that have HDR, even if, if when HDR is off, um, this monitor has like a high uh, millisecond refresh rate, and combined with the um, the input the, the the input delay. So that's not an ideal situation where you want to be playing multiplayer games in. 
So that's why I I play pretty much my PlayStation is you know this has an HDMI port of course and also display port. This has both also HDMI and dis and uh, and a display port. My PlayStation is connected to this monitor because I'm you know right now mostly playing multiplayer games. If I was gonna play a single player game, yeah, I, I would play it on this. So my PC and single player games I play on this PlayStation. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter what platform, but yeah, single player games on this, multiplayer games on this, excuse me, single player games on this. Um, and yeah, the, these, these monitors are, are great, great quality. Like I said, you, I named off all the, you know, the features and, um, technologies that they have inside and yeah, they, they're great. This is like really messing with my OCD, you know, the fact that I don't have them level, leveled yet. Uh, hopefully, you know, that them tools will come in soon that I can fix that. Um, and yeah, I think, um, I think that's everything. I don't want to go under there, you know, because of course that's going to show off the, the little bit of messy wiring. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with my setup. Um, of course, I got the, uh, I got the future game of the year on the screen gotta have that on the screen that's future game of the year all right if you ain't up on it then i don't know what's wrong with you borderlands 3 gonna be amazing you hear all right uh and yeah i think that's that's it hopefully i didn't forget anything like i said links will be in the description for uh everything hopefully and uh yeah i appreciate all of you make sure you hit the like button if you uh enjoyed this setup video uh, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Mixer, uh, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I will check all of y'all later. All right. Peace.